Dr. Alan Heger of the University of California, Santa Barbara, dreams of bringing solar power to everyone. The sun is shining. The energy that we receive from the sun in one hour here on the Earth is sufficient to handle the energy needs of the entire planet for a year. Naturally, he enjoys the conventional photovoltaic solar panels on his house. The power from the solar cells is coming down through this cable into the house. This is our electric meter. When the sun came up this morning, the meter started running backwards. We're selling electricity into the grid. But as a scientist, he was frustrated. A half century after their introduction, silicon-based solar panels remain bulky, rigid, and most of all, they cost too much. The main problem with the current technology is the expense. The time to recover the investment is something like eight to 10 years. Alan Heger set about making the sun's energy more affordable for everyone. So the goal that we have, the dream I should say, is to create a technology for low cost solar cells. First, he needed a cheaper material, plastic. And there was a, a moment of discovery which uh, really enables this whole enterprise toward plastic solar cells. That was the day he mixed plastic with a fullerene, a carbon molecule, and forever changed the world of solar cells. To his surprise, the electrons in the plastic started moving. Today, Alan and his team are testing the speed at which their latest solar cell conducts electricity. It's even more efficient than they expected. This is really exciting because it happens in a time scale even faster than the first steps of photosynthesis, a thousandth of a billionth of a second. Uh, that means it's very efficient. Using different plastic and fullerene combinations, Alan has made several kinds of solar ink. Each one absorbs a different wavelength of the sun's energy. They can be viewed as inks. They can be formulated as inks. They can be printed as inks. Now, solar ink can be sprayed on any surface in layers. Each layer responds to a different wavelength of light. It already has the titanium oxide on. With this solution, solar cells can be rolled out like newspapers on a printing press. These kinds of unexpected discoveries are part of what makes science so exciting. You cannot uh, plan on them, uh, but you're really happy when they happen. Alan Heger is putting his theory into practice at a Massachusetts-based company called Canarca. The most revolutionary thing out of this technology is that it can be mass-produced at very high speeds and very high volumes. Alan Heger and Kanarka are on their way to making solar energy in the form of power plastic mainstream. All the magic happens here. This is our unique coating technology. These coatings are very thin. They are one-tenth of the human hair in thickness. Power plastic is a whole new breed of solar. They can pick up very low light, like cloudy days. And even right now, with these lights, these tiny cells are producing electricity. They can also gather light at off angle. Most solar cells have to be pointed directly at the sun. Portable electronics, the cell phones we carry, all of the many different electronic devices that are so dependent upon being plugged in for recharging, these devices now would have the ability to self-charge themselves. You set it on the table and the light above the table would be recharging the battery inside the device. Power plastic should be available very soon. And by 2010, you may be able to power up your house this way. The solar cells can conform to the contours of the roof, where even one day the solar cells can be built into the roofing tile. While conventional solar panels cost $2.40 per watt of electricity, these are currently below $1 per watt. Once it gets out of the experimental stage and into large-scale manufacturing, they believe they can get it down to $0.10 cents per watt. Alan Heger's dream of a world without wires may be right around the corner. The implementation of the solar cells on a large scale is such an opportunity. We have to take advantage of it. Work harder, work harder. <laughs>